Good morning, Grade Four. Welcome back to Grade Four Mathematics class. How are you all doing today? So we have already started the chapter, Chapter Twelve, Money. So today we will see how we can add money. So to add different amounts of money, always add rupees with rupees and paise with paise. Let's make it more clear with examples. Let's see the first question. Add one hundred fifty-eight rupee fifty paise and 142 rupee 75 paise so here you are given two amounts of money you have a rupee part and a paise part in each of this here the rupee part the paise part the amounts of money are expressed in short forms also for the easy addition of these amounts first let's separate the rupee parts and the paise part so let's write the given amounts like this here we have two columns one for rupee and one for paise So the given amounts one hundred fifty eight rupee fifty paise. The one hundred fifty eight is written in the rupee column, whereas fifty paise is written in the paise column. And the amount one hundred forty two rupee is written in the rupee column, and seventy five paise is written in the paise column. Now let's start adding the amounts, starting with the paise column first. See, in the paise column we have zero plus five, five. Let's write it here. Now here we have five plus seven, which is equal to twelve. So in the paise column, we have a total of one hundred twenty-five paise, and we know hundred paise will make one rupee. So this one hundred twenty-five paise can be written as one hundred twenty-five paise is equal to hundred paise plus twenty-five paise. And what is hundred paise? This is equal to one rupee plus this twenty-five paise, and this is the column for paise. So let's carry over this one rupee or this hundred paise to the rupee column, the next column. So regrouping the columns, let's write in the paise column this twenty-five paise. And carrying over the hundred paise or one rupee from one hundred twenty-five to the next column. In usual addition, when you add like five plus seven, you get twelve. You write the two here and carry over one to the next place, right? Just like that. But in this case, when you carry over this one to the next place or the next column, here you are actually carrying over one rupee or hundred paise to the rupee column. Just keep that in mind. So here we are writing the twenty-five here, and we carried over the hundred paise to the rupee column, which makes it equal to rupees one. Now here eight plus two is equal to ten plus one rupee. The carried over one rupee. So eight plus two, ten plus one, eleven. Writing that one here. Now one here. Five plus four, nine plus one, ten. One plus one, two plus one, three. So what is the total amount? It is three hundred one rupee twenty five paise. So one hundred fifty eight rupee fifty paise plus one hundred forty two rupee seventy five paise is equal to a total amount of three hundred one rupee twenty five paise. So I hope the addition is clear to you. Just keep in mind that when you are carrying over from the paise column to the rupee column. You are actually carrying over rupee in effect. So we'll do more examples and it will be more clear to you. Now here we have a word problem. Arya bought a luggage bag for two thousand one hundred eighty-seven rupee fifty paise and a school bag for four hundred forty-five rupee. Find the total amount spent. So in the question, what is given? Arya bought a luggage bag. And what is the cost of a luggage bag? She bought it at a price of two thousand one hundred eighty-seven rupee fifty paise, and she also bought a school bag which costed her four hundred forty-five rupees. Now you are asked to find out the total amount she spent in buying these two bags. How can we find that? You can find it out by just adding the two amounts, right? So see the steps. Cost of the luggage bag is equal to. Two thousand one hundred eighty-seven rupee fifty paise, and cost of the school bag is equal to four hundred forty-five rupees, and the total cost will be equal to cost of the luggage bag plus cost of the school bag, 
and that is equal to 2187 rupee 50 paise plus 445 rupees and let's do the addition in the working column so here we have written the given amounts in proper columns starting with the paise column we have 50 paise plus 0 paise which is equal to 50 paise itself now moving to the rupee column we have 7 plus 5 which is equal to 12 then a carry over to the next place 8 plus 4 12 plus 1 13 let's write 3 here carry over 1 to the next place then 1 plus 4 5 plus 1 6 now here this 2 so what is the total amount the total cost is 2632 rupee 50 paise so it costed aria a total amount of 2632 rupee and 50 paise to buy the two bags so i hope this is clear to you now we'll do one activity this is from exercise 12.1 which is in page number 166 these are questions a and b of add the following question number one so let me read the questions to you we have to add 125 rupee 50 paise and 132 rupee 75 paise and question b is 228 rupee 32 paise and 179 rupee 45 paise so you do the two additions in your textbook itself please pause this video finish the addition and then come back hope you are done with that activity now let's see what is the total amount in these two cases so the first one here starting with the paise column here we have 50 paise plus 75 paise so here it is 0 plus 5 5 and 5 plus 7 12 so here it is a total of 125 paise so you are writing that 25 paise in the paise column and carrying over the 100 paise or 1 rupee to the rupee column so here we have 1 5 plus 2 7 plus 1 8 2 plus 3 5 then 1 plus 1 2 now the next one here in the paise column we have 32 paise plus 45 paise so that is a total of 2 plus 5 7 4 plus 3 or 3 plus 4 7 77 paise and in the rupee column we have 8 plus 9 17 a carry over here now 2 plus 7 9 plus 1 10 a carry over here 2 plus 1 3 plus 1 4 so what is the total amount in the two cases the first one gives a total amount of 258 rupee 25 paise and the second one gives a total amount of 407 rupee 77 paise i hope you got both the amounts correct now you have to go through the topic adding money in page number 165 of your textbook then you have to complete the two questions which we left in the let's recall page that is question number four and five of the let's recall exercise and also you have to work out the question numbers 1c 1d 1e and 1f and also the question numbers 3 and 5 of exercise 12.1 so questions 1c to 1f you can work out in the textbook itself but question number 3 and 5 which are word problems you have to work out in your notebook along with the correct questions so once you are done with all the activities please do take a picture and send us through teams so i hope what we learned today is clear to you so that's all for today we'll see in the next class with a new topic Till then, bye.